All right, this video is to show how to properly load up the uh, finals in your Kenwood hybrid rig. First thing to do is pick the operating frequency that you want to tune up on and preset the controls as follows. Now, ideally you want to start off by tuning up into a dummy load which is what I'll be doing. Now presetting the controls, start with the drive control set to the 12 o'clock position. Adjust the plate control uh, so that you're lined up in the arc for the band you want to operate in. In this case we're in the 7 MHz band. We'll just start off at the center of that. And start with the load capacitor is fully meshed. So that's the fully counterclockwise position. Uh, set the mode into the tune position and set the car control to mid scale. And this will be our good starting point. Oh, and also set the uh, meter to the ALC position. This is the good starting point to begin the tuning procedure. Okay, the first step is to adjust the drive control. So with one hand on the send receive switch, flip it to send and adjust the drive control for a maximum reading. Now the meter scale doesn't matter at this point, just looking for a maximum reading. Now if that maximum reading is outside of the ALC reading, uh, the ALC scale, which taps out right there, you want to adjust it down. I like going between half and two-thirds of the way up the ALC scale. Exactly where doesn't really matter, but you want to kind of be inside the ALC scale and repeak the drive control to be sure that you're peaked. So now the drive control is set and the car control is set. You won't have to touch these again. Okay, the next step is to dip the plate current. Flip the meter into plate current measurement mode. Put your hand on the plate control and then as you flip the send switch up, adjust the plate until you get a dip in the plate current. Just a dip in the meter reading. Okay, find that dip, flip back to receive. That kind of presets the plate. The finals are now in resonance. Now we can go tune up at power. Okay, so now we're ready to tune up at full power. We'll flip the mode to CW, the meter to RF. Now the process is we'll flip to a transmit mode and adjust the load control until we peak the RF power reading and then alternate back and forth between load and plate to find the highest reading that we can find. It's important when you do this to not stay in the send position for more than about 5 to 10 seconds. If it's taking you longer to do that, go back to receive, let the final uh, cool a few, a few seconds, and then do it again. So, Okay, I'll flip to send, adjust the load, find a peak, adjust the plate, peak it up again a little bit more there, and peak up the plate, a uh, load, and then we're done. So it should only take you a couple of seconds to find that peak, and we'll go through and verify that again. Flip to send, uh, find that peak, and the peak, and we're done. And now we're all tuned up and ready to transmit on CW. Now if you want to operate single sideband, the last control to adjust is the mic gain. So we'll flip to lower, lower sideband here, and I'll key the mic, and we'll just uh, flip the meter to ALC, uh, so we can read on the ALC scale. And we want to kind of stay kind of about mid-scale or below is a good, a good practice here. So we'll key the microphone and we can actually see the ALC is just staying about mid-scale. If we turn it up too far we could be going too much and uh, turn the, the gain down and we won't get any deflection. So you want that uh, mic gain adjusted so you get about a mid-scale reading on the ALC which is about a 25% reading or so in terms of the overall uh, full deflection of the meter. So that's it. That's all you need to do to properly tune up the uh, finals and the transmit settings on a Kenwood hybrid rig. Thanks for watching.